when you're getting ready to create content, who do you have in mind? Do you have, hopefully not someone judgmental, I hope not. I hope you're not thinking about the potential trolls that can say negative things about your content because that's very rare actually. Most of the people who are watching your content wish you well, uh, especially if you are doing content authentically, building a, a base of true fans like I you know, teach in my, in my videos and articles. Most of them wish you well. Most of them are supportive of you. And so I hope in your mind, when you're creating content, you're thinking of them. Now, even better than that, I hope you're thinking only about one of them at a time. Because especially, especially if you have been feeling blocked in creating content because it's intimidating, uh, you feel like you don't feel en energized because, well, there's some element of fear that's usually why you don't feel energized in making content because there's some element of fear. So how can we overcome the fear in our content creation? Here's one solution. Make your content, whether you're making your video or whether you're writing your article or whatever it is, do it for one supportive person in your mind. That's it. That's it. So whether it is a client that you love working with, make it for that one client. Just have them in your mind and your heart. Take a few deep breaths and bring them to mind and heart before you press record, before you start writing, before you start you know, uh, recording your podcast or, or whatever you're doing. Bring that person to mind. Well, so whether it's an ideal client or maybe you don't have any clients yet and you can bring to mind a kind friend or a supportive colleague, bring that person to mind, that one person. And you might even ask yourself, what would that one person uh, who is supportive of me, they're interested in my work, what would that one person be curious to know about my work today if you're trying to come up with content topics? What's one question they might ask me, right? Or if you already have a topic, what's something, what can I say about this topic that would support that person? And then make your video or write your article. And then guess what? You can send it to that person and say, I was thinking of you when I made this. They're gonna feel honored. They'll feel cared for. Now, uh, of course, when you're writing the article or making the video, you're not literally saying their name. You're, you're keeping any personal details confidential, but you're still having them in your mind and heart when you're making it. So the, the magic of this method, it really comes from where I got it from, is this book on public speaking by Lee Glickstein. Now, some of you, uh, a few of you uh, over the years have mentioned, oh, George, you, you seem like a really, um, a really good public speaker. What's your secret? Um, so uh, this book really made a difference for me early on in my, in my public speaking career. And the one tip I'll give you from the book that made the biggest difference for me is he, he said, basically, like when you're, when you're speaking to an audience, what most people do is they try to kind of take in the entire audience. And if you're doing that, like, ooh, I'm talking to all these people, it's natural for us to feel shy and to feel intimidated talking to a lot of people. So he says, the trick is to look at, find one welcoming face in the audience find one welcoming face in the audience and just speak with that one welcoming person for 15 seconds. Just speak to them, whatever you're talking about next, just talk to that one welcoming person for 15 seconds. And then, you know, after you've done that for a while, and of course that one person will feel delighted that the speaker is looking at them and speaking to them, you know, with a kind connection or whatever, whatever attitude or appropriate you know, moment of connection that is the kind of spirit you're bringing to that one person. And then after you know, 15 or so seconds, you then turn to another welcoming face in the audience and you speak to them for, for 15 seconds in a, whatever spirit makes sense for that part of the talk. 
So the magic thing, of course, that one person will feel cared for, but the entire audience actually feels your connection to that one person at a time. That's the magic of it because you are never more connected, resonant, authentic, conversational than you're with just one person, right? When you're talking to somebody, you know, usually when you're, when you're, when you're kind friend, your supportive colleague is asking you questions about your work talking, you're just very happy to share and you're excited about what you're going to say. When you're talked, asked to speak to a bunch of people, it's like, oh my God, what am I going to say? Am I going to disappoint them? Because now you're thinking about judgmental people. You're thinking about people who don't care about you or whatever. That's why I want you to make your content for just one caring person at a time. So with that, try making your next piece of content, just that one person in mind. Yeah. You might even, you know, some people actually go as far as, you know, finding the picture, finding a picture, go to their Facebook profile or whatever, uh, get their, get their picture, print out their picture and, and paste that picture uh, near the camera lens. You know, some people have done that and then they speak to that one person. But after you have, let's say you're making videos and, and you've done that for a few months, you become quite natural at just looking at the camera lens, right? Like now I'm, I'm quite natural. I've, I've, I've built a relationship with a camera lens. That's a very friendly uh, relationship. Um, I imagine the camera lens as, you know, the, the kind face of one of my ideal clients. And it's easy for me to do that now after lots of practice. So, but in the beginning though, it was so helpful to think about that one person. Or if you're writing and you're having difficulty with writing, think about that one person and write just to them. So I hope this is helpful and I'm always open to your questions and your comments. Uh, those of you who don't know who I am, I'm George Cow, authentic business coach. I love talking about how do we build a business uh, that's truly um, in a spirit of genuine connection and care for our audience and for our own inner life as well. So I hope this helps and I look forward to hearing about how this works for you as you make your next piece of content. I wish you well.